The Dingo Debate, a scruffy squabble down under. Australia's iconic outback landscape is shared by a fascinating, yet controversial, creature, the dingo. This wild dog, believed to have arrived on the continent over 4,000 years ago, sparks a heated debate. Are they villainous pests or valuable ecological players? Let's delve into the heart of the dingo debate. Grazing the divide, farmers versus conservationists. On one side of the fence stand graziers, the backbone of Australia's agricultural industry. They see dingoes as a major threat to their livestock, particularly sheep. Dingoes are efficient predators, and their hunting instincts can inflict significant economic losses. Poisoning and trapping are common methods of dingo control, sparking outrage from conservationists. Conservationists, on the other hand, view dingoes as a vital part of the Australian ecosystem. They argue that dingoes help control populations of feral cats and foxes, invasive predators that wreak havoc on native wildlife. Dingoes also play a role in maintaining healthy kangaroo populations by preying on the weak and sick. Eradicating dingoes, they argue, could have unforeseen consequences for the delicate ecological balance. Beyond black and white, a complex conundrum. The dingo debate isn't a simple black and white issue. There's evidence to support both sides. Studies show that dingoes can actually benefit some livestock operations by keeping feral cat and fox populations in check. However, their predatory instincts can still pose a threat to sheep herds, particularly in areas with limited natural prey. Finding common ground. Managing a fuzzy future. So, how do we move forward? One promising approach is dingo fencing. Strategically placed fences that exclude dingoes from vulnerable livestock areas while allowing them to roam freely in other areas. Additionally, research into non-lethal deterrents like strobe lights or sound devices shows promise. Ultimately, the dingo debate requires a nuanced approach. Finding ways to coexist with these intelligent canines, while protecting both agricultural interests and ecological balance, is the key. Through ongoing research, collaboration between farmers and conservationists, and innovative management strategies, a solution that benefits both dingoes and the Australian way of life might just be within reach. Feathered Resilience Australian parrots adapt to a changing landscape. Australia, a land of ancient wonders and diverse ecosystems, is also home to a dazzling array of parrots. But these vibrant birds haven't always had it easy. Their remarkable ability to adapt to habitat changes throughout millennia is a testament to their evolutionary resilience. Australia's past was wetter, boasting lush rainforests that teemed with life. This environment was a haven for many parrot species, like the stunning double-eyed fig parrot, perfectly adapted to a life amongst the dense foliage. However, as the climate shifted towards a drier one, vast swathes of rainforest gave way to arid woodlands and scorching deserts. Faced with this dramatic transformation, Australian parrots didn't simply succumb. They displayed a remarkable capacity for adaptation. Some species, like the pink and gray gala and the pink, white, and yellow corella thrived in the newly formed grasslands. Their strong beaks allowed them to exploit new food sources, such as seeds and nuts, that became more abundant in the drier landscapes. Their flocking behavior also proved advantageous, offering better protection from predators in the open plains. Unfortunately, not all parrot species fared as well. The loss of rainforest spelled disaster for some like the double-eyed fig parrot, whose specialized diet and dependence on rainforest fruits couldn't be sustained in the new environment. Similarly, ground parrots, once abundant in coastal swamps, saw their numbers dwindle as their habitat was drained for agriculture. Learning from the past, securing the future. The story of Australian parrots offers valuable lessons for conservation in a world facing rapid environmental change. Their ability to adapt highlights the importance of preserving biodiversity. A diverse ecosystem provides a safety net, with some species adapting to changing conditions while others might struggle. Understanding how these parrots adapted can also inform conservation strategies. Protecting remaining rainforests is crucial for the survival of specialized species. 
Additionally, creating corridors between fragmented habitats allows parrots to move between areas in search of food and resources. The future of Australian parrots hinges on our ability to learn from the past. By appreciating their remarkable adaptability and acknowledging the threats they face, we can ensure that these vibrant birds continue to grace the Australian skies for generations to come. The curious case of yawning, more than just sleepiness. Yawning, it's a universal experience, a seemingly involuntary sigh that stretches our jaws and brings tears to our eyes. But beyond the social faux pas of yawning mid-conversation, lies a fascinating biological mystery. Why do we yawn? The answer, it turns out, is more complex than simply needing sleep. One long-held theory is that yawning is linked to brain temperature regulation. The act of yawning increases blood flow to the head, potentially helping to cool down the brain. This might explain why yawning is more frequent when we're tired or warm, as our brains tend to run a bit hotter in those states. Another theory proposes that yawning is a way to increase alertness. The deep inhalation brings in more oxygen, which could benefit a sluggish brain. Additionally, the facial muscle contractions might stimulate the nervous system, jolting us awake. This could explain why yawning is contagious. Perhaps it's an unconscious attempt to rouse those around us as well. Yet another theory delves into the realm of communication. Yawning is highly contagious, especially among close friends and family. This suggests it might serve a social function subconsciously signaling tiredness, boredom, or even empathy. A synchronized yawn could be a way of unconsciously bonding with those around us. The truth is, there might not be a single, definitive answer. Yawning could be a combination of these factors, or something entirely different. Scientists are still actively researching this seemingly simple act, and new discoveries are constantly emerging. One thing is certain, yawning is more than just a sign of boredom. It's a complex physiological response with potential links to brain function, alertness, and even social interaction. So, the next time you catch yourself yawning, take a moment to appreciate the wonder of this curious human behavior. It might just be your brain's way of keeping you cool, focused, and connected. A new dawn embracing technology in the study and teaching of history. The study of history for centuries has relied on dusty textbooks and a linear progression of events. But the winds of change are blowing, ushering in a new era where technology becomes a powerful tool to illuminate the past and ignite a passion for learning. This new stage in the study and teaching of history promises a more engaging, interactive, and accessible experience for students of all ages. At the forefront of this revolution lies the democratization of historical sources. Once confined to academic archives, primary sources like letters, Diaries and photographs are now readily available online. Students can delve into the unfiltered voices of the past, gaining a deeper understanding of historical events and the perspectives of those who lived them. Imagine a history lesson where students analyze Abraham Lincoln's handwritten draft of the Gettysburg Address or pour over photographs from the trenches of World War I. Technology is also breathing new life into historical narratives through the power of immersive experiences. Virtual Reality VR allows students to step into the Colosseum in its prime, stand amidst the bustling streets of ancient Rome, or witness the signing of the Declaration of Independence firsthand. Augmented Reality AR can transform a classroom into a battlefield or overlay historical figures onto physical spaces, creating a dynamic and interactive learning environment. The rise of digital storytelling is another exciting development. Instead of passive consumption of facts, students can become active participants in the historical narrative. Interactive timelines, multimedia presentations, and even the creation of historical video games can transform learning from rote memorization to a process of exploration and discovery. However, this digital revolution doesn't diminish the importance of critical thinking skills. The vast amount of information available online necessitates the ability to evaluate sources, identify bias, and construct well-supported arguments. Technology should be a tool to empower students to become discerning consumers of historical information, not a crutch for passive learning. The new stage in the study and teaching of history is not about abandoning traditional methods. It's about embracing technology's potential to enhance the learning experience. By fostering a spirit of inquiry, critical thinking, and a deeper connection with the past, 
This new era promises to ignite a lifelong passion for history in students everywhere. So let's close the dusty textbooks and step into a world where history comes alive, not just on a page, but through the magic of technology. Busy bees, nature's tiny powerhouses of biodiversity. Bees are more than just buzzing insects producing delicious honey. They're vital cogs in the ecological machine, playing a critical role in the health and productivity of our planet's ecosystems. Understanding their importance is crucial for appreciating their worth and taking steps to conserve these buzzing ambassadors of biodiversity. Pollination Powerhouse The most recognized contribution of bees lies in pollination. As they flit from flower to flower, searching for nectar, they inadvertently transfer pollen grains, enabling plants to reproduce. This seemingly simple act forms the foundation of countless ecosystems. Over 90% of flowering plants rely on animal pollinators, and bees are some of the most efficient and effective. From our favorite fruits and vegetables to nuts, seeds, and even some fibers used for clothing, bee pollination ensures a vibrant and diverse plant life, which in turn sustains countless animal species. Beyond honey, while honey production is a celebrated aspect of beekeeping, the ecological significance of bees extends far beyond the sweet stuff. Many native bee species don't produce honey at all, but their role in pollination remains essential. The diversity of bee species, each with its own preferences and foraging habits, ensures a robust pollination network, safeguarding the reproductive success of a wide variety of plants. Maintaining the delicate balance, healthy bee populations contribute to a balanced ecosystem. Their presence encourages a diverse range of flowering plants, which provide food and habitat for countless other creatures, from butterflies and birds to insects and small mammals. This intricate web of life creates a healthy and resilient ecosystem. A cause for concern. Unfortunately, bee populations are facing a multitude of threats. Habitat loss due to deforestation and urbanization, the overuse of pesticides, and the spread of diseases are all putting immense pressure on these vital pollinators. A decline in bee numbers disrupts the delicate balance of ecosystems, with potential consequences for food security and overall biodiversity. Taking action for a buzzing future. The importance of bee conservation cannot be overstated. Planting bee-friendly flowers, supporting local beekeepers, and advocating for sustainable agricultural practices are all steps we can take to ensure the continued buzz of these ecological champions. By appreciating the vital role of bees and taking action to conserve them, we can safeguard the health of our planet's ecosystems and secure a future where these busy pollinators continue to thrive. Remember, a healthy buzz from bees signifies a healthy environment for all.